Yes, right now we can see the presentation. Okay. Good day, everyone. My name is Sofia Drost, and today I want to show you the research that I and my colleagues have created uh, about the monitoring war damaged fields using commercial and free satellite data of different special resolution. So. Um, it is well known that due to Russia's aggression in the east of Ukraine, hostilities have been going on the several years ago. And in the last two years, the war has covered the ent uh, entire country. As a result of military operations, thousands of um, hectares of agricultural fields have been damaged, which has led to a decrease in yield and poses a threat to global food security. To restore well-being in the agricultural sector, uh, an important task is to find and track the dynamic of the development of these damages in these fields. And satellite data, especially with very high uh, special resolution, are useful for this task. So, for example, Eric Duncan recently successfully used a submeter world view of two satellite images uh, with, a, with a deep learning um, methodology to identify and map damages in area within the Donetsk region. Uh, this area is in an uh, active conflict zone. And Eric Duncan has uh, uh, found um, 22,000 uh, uh, 22, uh, craters uh, in this small area. Um, but the data that was used was commercial, and this created a number of limitations. First of all, ultra-high uh, ultra um, definition um, resolution data, data is closed and expensive. And because of this, we cannot use this to research a large area in long time period. And secondly, the processing of this data itself requires uh, a lot of resources. And, um, however, free satellite data can be also used for this task. Um, satellite data with lower resolution um, can be uh, some alternate, uh, alternative. Uh, and um, we can use, for example, two meters data from Sentinel-2 or two meters data of planescope that are free. Uh, planescope data is uh, also commercial, but we can use uh, it um, with some limit um, uh, that uh, is um, uh, uh, that is possible for our organization, like our university. And in this work, we want to compare commercial uh, ultra high resolution data with free satellite data in task of field damage detection. And this will allow us to evaluate the performance of lower resolution data for damage detection in agricultural fields. Uh, and our main goal is to combine commercial and free satellite data uh, to two tasks. First, uh, reconstruct the history of damages, and second, analyze dynamic of damages. Uh, a conduct to research, we choose uh, the territory in the zone of active hostilities on the border of Donetsk and Lugansk region. And for comparison, we use data from three satellites, like commercial data with ultra-high special resolution of SkySat, uh, data from planescope with a resolution of three meters, and free open data from Sentinel-2 with a resolution of uh, 10 meters. In our position, we had an image from SkySat dated uh, July 7, uh, 2nd, 2022. Uh, therefore, we also collect data from uh, Planescope and Sentinel-2 corresponding to this date. As for methodology, uh, using SkySat satellite data, the creators was previously found by Eric Duncan using a machine learning methodology. Uh, and uh, we used these results uh, as a benchmark to test the perform um, performance of free satellite data. We use the anomaly detection method to search the craters using data from Planescope and Sentinel-2. To do this, we analyze the green and blue spectral bands, which are the most imp uh, informative in the task of finding damages in the fields. We also used um, uh, the search of anomalies uh, using the NDVI index, uh, and we apply filtering methods. 
We apply uh, an averaging filter uh, to uh, the uh, original satellite image and compare the filter rate and on original images and detect pixels with abnormal values according to the formulas shown on the slide. And now uh, let's go to the results. In this slide, uh, in the image uh, on left, you can compare the results of detecting craters using data from uh, three satellites. As you can see in this image, the anomaly analysis method is sometimes even more effective. On the graph on the right, you can submit a quantitative comparison. The Sentinel-2 satellites found more than uh, 50 uh, damages than the damage that was detected using machine learning and SkySat SAT data. With the help of sky uh, slope uh, planescope data, we can detect more than 16% of damage that we have found using uh, SkySat. SkySide satellite. And uh, on the, uh, this diagram, you can see the detected and uh, undetected craters depending on their area. Uh, as can be seen, that the Sentinel 2 and planescope satellites uh, cannot detect craters with a small area well. And our next step was to try to uh, create the history of craters. To do this, we collect the all available satellite data from Planescope for the period from beginning of the war to July uh, 2022. And using visual interpretation, we determine when which crater was appeared. The chart on the right showed that the largest number of craters were detected in the May uh, 2025 um, uh, image. And for, from this, it can be uh, concluded that active shelling was taking place in this area at this period. We also traced uh, the further dynamic of craters development. To do this, we collect data after July to October 2022. We can see that the craters do not disappear uh, for quite a long period of time. We also took the image from a plane scope uh, for the year 2023. And we can see that the, some craters can be observed even this after a year. And now let's go to the conclusion. In this study, we compare the results of location war damage in agricultural fields using free and commercial satellite data. As a benchmark, we took the results of craters detecting using machine learning and SkySat ultra high resolution data. Uh, we discovered that the anomaly uh, detection from Sentinel-2 and planescope data can, can identify more than half of the damage uh, uh, that was detected by SkySat. Small craters were found to be poorly detected using free data. Uh, but it is uh, also been found that craters uh, that were not recognized by machine, by machine learning uh, on commercial data can sometimes be uh, identified using free satellite data and anomaly analysis data uh, method. Also, uh, also, with the help of free satellite data, we managed to reproduce the history of craters and trace the dynamic of their development. Our further research would aim to explain the domain for damage detection using a combination of commercial and free data. This approach will allow us to identify and assess additional affected areas in order to assess the extent of military damage to agriculture. So, thank you for your attention. Have you any questions? Uh, thank you very much for your presentation. Are there any questions uh, to the presenter? Uh, I have small. Uh, Sophia, do you have uh, any um, ideas uh, how to combine uh, data from different resolution in the same model, together in one model? So in one model hmm. or it uh, doesn't make sense i think it doesn't make sense because when we use uh, data with uh, uh, for example ultra high resolution and data with uh, 
we uh, don't need data with uh, smaller uh, lower resolution when we have data with high resolution uh, for example we can use uh, um, images uh, for different um, date and um, in this uh, task we can use uh, data with uh, ultra high resolution and then uh, for other date we can use data for lower resolution in order to identify something uh, um, some, uh, some development of characters uh, we can comp uh, we can uh, build time series to, to track development of damages using uh, data with different uh, special resolution but we cannot uh, combine this in one model i think okay thank you very much uh, good are there more questions uh, if not thank you very much the next uh, presentation in our schedule is uh, also Sophia. Uh, she will present.